this video we will learn how to find out the consumer surplus from the given demand function the question is consider the linear demand curve q is equal to 30 minus 2p q denotes the output and p denotes the price if price is equal to 10 dollar we need to find out the consumer surplus options are being given we need to find out the correct option here okay so what we are being given here we are being given the demand function is q is equal to 30 minus twice p okay now if i draw the graph of this demand function here okay let us say we have the output on the horizontal axis price on the vertical axis okay now let us draw this curve here so let us suppose when when p is equal to zero rather when q is equal to zero here q is equal to zero so we have 30 minus 2p is equal to zero which gives us 2p will be equal to 30 or p will be equal to 30 upon 2 which gives us 5 15 as the price interceptor okay and this is in fact the downward sloping demand function because there is negative relationship between the quantity demanded and the price okay if price decreases quantity demanded increases that is being shown by this negative sign and let me draw it here it is very simple this is our demand function okay we are being told to find out the consumer surplus when p is equal to 10 okay that means the market price is 10 by consumer surplus what we mean and let me draw it here so p is equal to 10 okay this is the price function our which is 10 here now what is consumer surplus it is the difference between the price that the consumers are willing to pay and the price they actually pay so the price that they actually pay is ten dollar and there are some consumers who are in fact willing to pay a price above ten dollar some will pay 11 dollars some 12 13 and at most there will be some consumers who will pay 15 dollars so the difference between the price that the consumers are willing to pay for a product and the actual price that they are you know paying for the product that defines our consumer surplus graphically it is the area which is above the equilibrium price and below the demand curve that means the area of this very triangle is our consumer surplus so how do we find out the area of this very triangle so we have this point this point also but we are supposed to find out this point okay that means when p is equal to 10 we plug the value of p is equal to 10 in this equation that gives us output sorry quantity demanded when price is equal to 10 will be equal to 30 minus 2 times 10 which is equal to q will be equal to 30 minus 20 so quantity demanded when price is equal to 10 dollar is equal to 10 also okay now so we have here this point which is 10 then consumer surplus will be equal to consumer surplus will be equal to the area of this triangle let this triangle let us say this is point a this is point b this is point c area of this right angle triangle a b c so we know that the area of a right angle triangle is equal to 1 upon 2 times base into altitude that is height and here you can see we have 1 upon 2 what is the base of the triangle it is equal to bc okay so we have bc into altitude is equal to ab so that gives us we have 1 upon 2 what is the length of bc bc is equal to let us say it is at 0 so we have 10 from 0 to 10 it is equal to 10 times what is ab ab is equal to 15 minus 10 so the distance is here for you so consumer surplus consumer surplus will be equal to uh, 10 5 are 50 upon 2 
so we have 50 upon 2 which comes out to be 25 okay so the consumer surplus in this case comes out to be 25 okay so one thing